Hello and welcome to the show, episode number 429. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we have some news for you this week. And, well, it's nothing huge, just some few announcements from Kotobukiya. And, well, let's hop right into it. So, first up, Princess Celestia and Princess Luna are getting Kotobukiya figures. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys? But anywho, uh, the My Little Pony Bishoujo statue lines are at Kotobukiya is expanding yet again after the announcement of Sunset Shimmer a few months ago. Both Princess Celestia and Luna will be receiving the same figure treatment with the concept image up above being they will most likely brace on. Except them sometime in the near future. Yes. So, what, what did I mention before? Um, next pony to come up out of the Kotobukiya line would be Princess Celestia Luna. <laughs> I love it when predictions go right. And in this scenario here, my prediction was accurate. And, it, <laughs> and here's the thing. It doesn't take a genius to predict these kind of things because the signs were there. Uh, you do the main six. After the main six, uh, the toy, or not really toy, the figure line is popular. It's somehow reaching a huge audience that Kotobukiya uh, haven't really seen. Uh, you have a lot of My Little Pony fans, uh, especially Friendship is Magic, so they would love to collect these kind of things. And... Yeah, uh, you could you could ask the question, what about Marvel and DC and so on? Aren't they popular? Yeah, they are. But in my opinion, it's just that when you have a series line like My Little Pony, you are not, how do I put this, arguing or debating on which pony's best. You're most likely collecting the full set because... If you can get a full set and sell it off later, you can get a huge profit on return. And most of the time, Kotobukiya figures do bring some sort of second-hand financial value. That's my opinion. Uh, it, it's based on the popularity, it's based on the quality and whatnot. But that's besides the point. Um, for this one right now, right here, uh, my prediction, like I said, before it doesn't take a genius because after you've done main 6, where do you go? Uh, Sunset Shimmer is a proper line uh, and you're doing Equestria Girls. So you do uh, Sunset Shimmer. Okay, after Sunset Shimmer, who would you go next? Uh, to make the most impact in terms of financial value, you go for the princesses. After princess, who do you go? Uh, still... Uh, going on the line of princesses, you go for Cadence. And then after Cadence, where do you go? Uh, it could be that they end it there, or uh, they go for fan favorites. Um, Trixie is one of them. Uh, after Trixie, you still have uh, what Starlight. I mean, the selection of characters is huge. So, it's just... <laughs> It's just Kotobukiya taking a look-see at where do we go from there. Uh, Hasbro also has a say in this, and Hasbro could just say, okay, um, this is great and all, but we gotta stop because pony life, yo. So yeah, um, this is great. Prediction is going to be about $100, something like that, give or take. Uh, you can get it at wherever you bought your uh, figures. So that's like normal. Moving on. Uh... The Sunset Shimmer figure complete from Bo Kotobukiya plus Twilight variant. <laughs> Another thing that I've talked before, the variancy. Okay, but here's the thing. Um, if we finally get to take a look-see at how Sunset is going to look in her, um, what you call this, figured form. And oh my god, that is amazing. That That is, oh my god, that is, that looks so good. I got no idea if you guys know this or not, but I am a huge Sunset fan. So yeah, I, I'm going to try and get this one. 
Yeah, man. Like, oh boy. <laughs> There's gonna... Ooh. And uh, Twilight. Yep. Prediction was right. Um, it's the same figure, except uh, they're using the QG color scheme. Um, Twilight's skin tone is same as her coat. And hair is translucent and sparkly. So that's the biggest difference in this one. Uh, would I say that they would repeat this again for the rest? Yes, they would. I'm not sure when this is coming out, but it's just an announcement on things to come. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Let's move on to the last news for this week. Sorry, guys. I uh, didn't really have much news to report on this week. And the last news is new cases, treasure surprise at ponies. Yes. Uh, I, <laughs> I got no idea what these are, but I have eaten Hershey's Kisses and they're nice. I like them. I like them. And I, I'm guessing this is similar to Kinder Surprise, where you can get a, a toy in your food. Which I'm guessing why the American government is not banning this one too. But that's besides the point. And we get to see that, okay, uh, this is the Hasbro toy line now. And it's My Little Pony and Transformers. I'm a bit miffed on this one in terms of why are they using uh, Friendship is Magic instead of Pony Life. Because Pony Life is kind of their, what you would call this... Um, new hip thing that the kids are watching but that's besides the point uh, we see here that the figure for the ponies is not bad they look really good they look on point um if i'm not mistaken uh, they look something like this oh come on sweetie um yeah get, get into frame yeah so this is a funko mini and yeah, this looks awesome and great. And yeah, I do see this one here. It looks similar to... What you call this? Um, it looks similar to the Funko variants. And that's awesome. I, I do love the um, modifi sorry, modification of their limbs instead of all four on the ground. Uh, at least Pinkie Pie is kind of giggling and whatnot and so on. Uh, for the Transformers part, um, that don't look good. Yep, <laughs> that don't look good. And one, a friend of mine told me this. Like, uh, he he told me that okay, the reason why you buy a Transformers toys is that you're getting a robot that can transform into a, well, in this scenario, let's just say a car or a truck. So that's the that's one of the reasons you do buy a Transformers. So not having the option to transform your Transformers into a, well, in this scenario, a truck is kind of lame. And... Hmm, would I agree? It's one of those scenarios where if you were uh, buying one of the Transformers, uh, built your own, what's, what's this called? Those Gundam things, uh, model figures. If you're doing those kind of things where you built the robot on your own, I don't mind it because it looks awesome. But with this one, man, I, I don't know. Especially the colors. The colors are not there. They, they look like they should have done... Yeah. But that's the size of point. I'm not 100% sure how much these are. But according to Sophisto, um, Let's see. Hershey's Treasure Surprise line is apparently rocking ponies and Transformers figures as part of their treasure, in, uh, treasure side. The box shows Pinkie Pie with... More ponies on the front of the chest themselves. They seem pretty new, so keep an eye out for them at grocery stores. This particular were this in particular were found in Pennsylvania. 
So yeah, um, other than that, not much news on this one. Um, I hope that this uh, Hershey's Kisses treasure surprise do pop in my neck of the woods because I would love to take a look see at what these are. I mean, it's fascinating, that's for sure. But anywho, that is the news for this week. Um, I try to extend, make it longer for you guys to be entertained. But, uh, lack of news, what to do. But anywho, uh, let's go on to the next topic. And next topic is, what have I been doing with my week? Yes, so this week, I watch a movie. I'm not 100% sure if I told you guys this or not, but I watched Scoob, the Scooby-Doo movie, in theaters. Yes, uh, the movie itself is pretty awesome. I do like it a lot. It's... I won't say it's a retelling, but what I like what WB is doing. They're integrating all of their uh, cartoon lineup, like from the Hanna Barbera series, into a shared universe. From what I can tell, because there's um, Scooby Doo and Gang, with the appearance of Blue Falcon, and also Dick Dastardly. Is in there too, and what? Uh, what else? Uh, I I don't remember, but still, um, that's the uh, show. I I don't want to spoil it because you guys should really check it out because it is a fun movie. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, with the pandemic still going around, uh, theater showing for the movie are not widely available. So what you can do is check out. Or check the movie out on your uh, streaming media website uh, like the Netflix or Hulu or the Amazon Prime or the Disney, whatever it is. I mean, uh, what this is WB. WB has its own thing, maybe? I don't know. So try to check it out there. The movie is worth the watch. Other than that, oh boy, um, nothing much in terms of stuff. Still been playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima. That's a fun game. Uh, really entertaining. I, I do love the scenarios, the twists and turns and whatnot. It is a really entertaining game. If you have a PlayStation 4 and have the time and money to buy the game, uh, go do so. Especially right now, if... Hmm... No... I would want to recommend it to you guys if you can get it on a discount. Not because you shouldn't buy it new. It's just that I understand that, okay, money is not easy to come by now these days. And if you would like to buy a game but not pay it at full price, you want to buy the game on a discount. A new game is at 60 probably you can get it at 40 to 30 second hand. But that's besides the point. Uh, the point is, Ghost of Tsushima is a fun game and you should go buy it. Yeah, or play it at least. Yes. So anywho, let's move on to well the wrap-up because uh, not much news. Oh, if you don't mind me uh, talking about something personal, uh, what do you call this? If you would allow me to indulge myself, I would like to promote my uh, other channel, um, if you do play Magic the Gathering and if you do play the Commander variant, uh, I would like you guys to hop on by my other channel. Give me a second. And here it is the Gay Watch Cast. Over here, I and a friend talk about Magic the Gathering. Uh, yeah, Magic the Gathering, the Commander format, or at least the Elder Dragon Highlander format. Uh, we talk about you know, things going on here and there. Uh, we do deck techs and whatnot. I mean, if you do play Magic the Gathering, uh, please do give us a subscribe and um, listen to the content because the format for this one is a bit different from what we usually do. Um, you'll be, I hope you'll catch it and take a see because it's different from normal. So, uh, thank you for in <laughs> allowing me to indulge myself. But anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitiogmail.com. 
You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, <clears throat> and also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, we have the review and discussion podcast where we review pony episodes, comics, specials, and movies. Sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. And, well, we'll... Well, mm, ponies, yes. Uh, other things than ponies that we do. Um, that's comics, games, animes, cartoons. Sometimes we like to talk about non-pony movies. The recent one we did was what? Um, Batman, was it? I forgot. It was with Mad... Yeah, Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We thought we had that talk with uh, Matt Munchkin. It was a lo- it was a lot of fun. We were uh, really geeking out on the action scenes for that movie, and it's another movie I would highly recommend you go watch. Yes. So anyway, um, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreoncom show. With every support, you will get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Light. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya.